When we designed Limber Last Place, we designed it with students in mind, and that means maximizing fresh air and natural light. We also considered a range of learning styles and the neurodiversity of students in the design. Social activity permeates the building from the ground level to the seventh floor. The learning landscape will suit the needs of students who like to gather in an active environment, while the smaller rooms provide more choices for students who prefer quieter, cozier study and social spaces. The complexity of the project boggles my mind as a student of construction engineering technology. I can just imagine all the skills and expertise and talents that went into creating this really wonderful structure. It takes me to a futuristic kind of thinking of what buildings might look like more and more as we go forward into the future. I'm amazed by the building enclosure and how well it looks. It looks amazing, but it's also really functional. So. It's sort of form meets function in one. It's the future of our building in our industry. If we can get more buildings like this, all the better. With the structural elements in place, we are in an exciting construction phase at Limberlost Place. As the interior of the building continues to take shape, you can see and feel the innovative and inspiring design elements that make this project so unique. One of the great opportunities we have here is to change culture, to have every individual who walks into this building see what a new kind of public institution can look like. I think it's amazing that George Brown is investing in uh, sustainable buildings, the sustainable development. It's really setting an example for other public institutions. Hopefully they can follow the same lead. This just tells me the kind of weight that the college I attend carries. There is nothing like this in all of Canada, perhaps even in North America. George Brown is a trailblazer and a pioneering uh, institution, and I really feel proud being a part of this community.